going on, people? Welcome to the LV Live Show. I'm LV Live. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button. Once again, I want to thank all the new subscribers for coming by to my channel, man. It is truly, truly appreciated, right? So listen, a nasty, rainy fall day in New York City. The Giants pull out a victory at MetLife against the Chicago Bears 20-12. to I mean, this was, this was a perfect day pretty much to run the ball. You know, wasn't too much passing in this game for the, for the Giants and for the Bears. I mean, you know, you have games like this. I played in them uh, where it's just it's just nasty out, right? You just, you know, you, sometimes you get hit, you get tackled. It hurts more on days like this, when weather like this, than it does on a nice day, even sometimes when it snows, right? It's just the rain. I don't know what it is. Just something about the water just gets into your pads, into your jersey, and on your helmet, it just, it just, it just stinks, right? You know, on top of, you know, that's why there was so many – Turnovers today, uh, the Giants recovering three fumbles, and uh, the Bears return recovering two fumbles. I mean, it's just it's just one of those games, right? So you need a strong running game, and that's what you got today. Um, Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley running it for, uh, I believe it was 31 times. Uh, let me just make sure I got the stats correct. Uh, 31 times for 146 yards today for him. What was, what was big was Daniel Jones running it for six times, 68 yards, uh, and two touchdowns, right? So he was big. Um, in regards to that uh, bootleg, right, you know, you know pretty much, uh, you know, I love what Brian Dave was doing. Um, he's using, uh, you know, Daniel Jones' strengths, which is his legs, and pretty much helping the team, uh, you know, pull out victories. I mean, this is this is beautiful for the Giants to be 3-1 and one now. It's the first time we've seen this in a very, very long time. Got to go back to the Tom Conflin times, uh, I think, when he first started, right? That's what they stated. Uh, you know, so this is, this is a great look. You know, he's using – Everybody's strengths, right? And what I love to see also, too, is look at that defense. That defense is ferocious. I mean, you know, you have guys like, you know, Thibodeau coming around and Tay Crowder having 10 tackles today. He looks strong back there. Uh, then, of course, big Dexter Lawrence coming in and having two sacks today, even without, you know, uh, you know big Cat Williams today. Uh, Dexter Lawrence, I like to call him Big Sexy, was out there doing the, doing the dances and stuff like that, coming up with big plays. Huge, huge in that middle. Uh, the Giants look tough. They look tough defensively. Now, I like the pretty much the personality and the culture that they're pretty much carrying. Um, you know, but that's all from the coaching staff. I mean, you know, I look, I look at Wink Martindale and, of course, Brian Dable. Those guys are really setting a culture there and a mindset and a way that they play that, you know, it's pretty much spilling over into the team. And that's what you want to see because now these guys are pulling out victories that years ago, as you guys know, especially last season the season before that and before that, <laughs> the Giants would have lost this game. They, they would have lost it, right? So now they're able to pull out victories like this, and yeah, they look solid. They look solid all together. You know, I just think the most impressive thing that I like is the togetherness, right? And uh, that, that, once again, like I stated, that starts with the culture, right? So you're able to see uh, them bite down and, you know, pull games out, uh, fight, claw. Uh, and that's all you want to see because the reality is, let's be honest, guys, we're very limited, okay? That's just the truth. Um, Daniel Jones is coming around, but he doesn't have anybody to throw to. Um, you know, Tyrod Taylor came in for Daniel Jones. He, um, you know, he sprained his ankle today, so hopefully, you know, um, he can be okay with that. But then also, too, now look, you know, Tyrod Taylor goes down with concussion. Seemed like he got hit trying to um, pretty much get that first down, which he got, but he hit, got hit. He got fumbled, but he seemed a little woozy getting up. So, you know, the Giants don't want another – you know, to a situation that's going on in Miami. Now, you don't want that to happen to one of your players. So they snatched him out right away, and he did not return. And then, you know, to close out the game, pretty much the Giants had to run like a wildcat with Saquon Barkley uh, and a couple of running backs back there. Uh, so, you know, you got to see exactly what happens and see where, you know, this goes as far as Tyra Teller and Daniel Jones. They're going to probably have to pick up someone else off the waivers or something like that, free agency, see what they could do. But um, it's tough. But, but like I said, we're limited. So, you know, Daniel Jones doesn't have anybody to really throw to. Um, one pass that i seen, um, he threw down to Slayton. Right on his hands. Even though it was pass interference, it was right on his hands. Dropped it. <laughs> I mean, listen, if you're trying to really get back in the good graces with the coaches, you got to make plays. I mean, that's just what it is. Okay, you got to make plays when your number is called. That, that's just, you know, the name of the business, right? So you just have to do that. And Slayton dropping that pass. Didn't look good, okay? So, you know, you know, it's well documented him, Tony, and Galladay are pretty much in the doghouse there. You know, we were with Brian Dable and the coaching staff. So, I don't know what's going to happen with those three receivers. I don't see them around. 
Um, but, you know, but with that being said, with those guys just not being a factor, uh, is really nobody for him to throw to. So, you know, that's why you saw the numbers down as far as the passing goes. But, you know, a lot of that had to do with the weather, too. But, uh, you know, I just, I just don't see, um, you know, the Giants really being able to do much offensively. I mean, Saquon, to me, is back to 100%, right? So he's, he's the offense, right? Daniel Jones is his legs. But what happens is when you get a running quarterback like that, he gets injured, as you saw today, right? He hurt his ankle. So, you know, you try not to have your quarterback run as much. But with the Giants being so limited, you know, you kind of have to use that, uh, you know, to pretty much help move the ball. So we got to see what happens in regards to that with him. But all in all, this is a great win today. Great win, great win. Uh, that defense, man. You know, we get back Leonard Big Cat Williams. I think we're going to make continue to make some noise. Um, the way they're playing, I mean, I could see the Giants, you know, pulling out nine victories this year. Being like a nine and seven team, I could see that. Ten and six is pushing it, <laughs> but I do see possibly nine and seven, eight and eight. I do see that. Um, but that defense is is, is is beautiful. I'm really, really excited. And as the old saying goes, you know, offense wins games, defense wins championships. And it's games like this that pretty much you know build the character of a team and really uh, helps you know, bring guys together. Because when guys come down, one guy steps up. And, you know, and that's the nature, you know, pretty much building a great culture and a great winning, winning formula uh, for your team going forward. And I see that's what Brian Day was doing there. All right, but listen, great job for the Giants. Great win. Uh, next week, we got the Packers in London. So I will be packing my bags being in London. Not really, but <laughs> I will be there like everyone else watching it from television, getting up early. Uh, watching the Giants take on the Packers next week. But great win, 3-1 for the first time in a very long time. All right, so it's you know, an awesome feeling for the Giants. We just got to keep it going. All right, I'm LV Live, and that's my show. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, people, all right? Also, too, please leave comments, all right, so we can go back and forth from debate. All right, I appreciate you guys coming by. That's LV Live, and that's my show, and I'm out. Peace.